Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this section, we are going to see how to do simulation in CX programmer. So before entering into the topic, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel. So let's see how to do the simulation in CX programmer. So let's open CX programmer. So let's take one normally open contact. So I'm going to take one contact and I'm going to name this as with address pb1 and the address is 0, 0.00. So let's take one coil, give some address and name. Now the inputs are in left side and the output is in right side. How to connect this contact and motor means you can make use of this horizontal line. So just choose the horizontal line, click here, so it will make a path. So once the path is made, that's it in the first run. So just click escape and deleting the extra line. Right. Now we have one normally open contact and one motor. So I am going to turn on this motor using one open contact. So let's save the file. So I will show you how to save the file. So already it is saved. So I am going for the save as option. So in this you can give the name. And you can see the programming file extension will be exp, cxp, which is uh, you know cx programmer, right? Just save it so you can see the project name over here. Now let's see about the simulation. So in our landing page itself, you have an option called Work on Link Simulator, and we have a shortcut for that: Control Shift and W. So just click on that. So once you click a program download to download it to PLC. That means what in the simulation mode it will take it will assume that there will be a you know default uh, uh, you know PLC like virtual PLC is there and we have to download the program from software to that PLC right. So this is a virtual PLC kind of. So once it is entered into the simulation mode, you can see a rail becomes a green color over here. The rung over here is green color. That means what? It is in run mode. Right. I have told you in our previous section, right? In the simulation mode, we will be seeing a run mode. So in this, you can able to edit this input. So now this positive rail and this is negative rail. So positive rail is carrying a flow i mean uh, the input flow right so this flow have to reach motor to turn on a motor so how this will get to reach motor means we have to turn on this push button right so i'm going to force this so if you right click on this contact there is an option called force so in that force just press on so once you press on, you can see the flow enter into the switch and it reached our motor. So now the motor is on. So this green color implies that it is in on condition. Right. So the motor is on. If you want to turn off the motor, just make this to off. Off. That's it. The motor is off. So like this only we have to do the simulation in CX supervisor. And uh, to get out of this, you know, simulation mode, you need to click on the same icon. So it came out of a simulation mode. So once you came out of the simulation mode and there is no green color flow over here. Again, if you enter, it will come again. Right. And also you can see in the title bar, you can see there is an option called running. You can able to change the input to see the change in output right so suppose just watch this running status if i click here 
so it is entering into the stop mode and it came back to the normal programming mode so now the program is in programming mode all right so that's it about the simulation part in cx supervisor i'll meet you in the next session before that like and subscribe our youtube channel thank you